Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So here we have seen in our previous video about the tra CSS transitions. Now we will have an overview about the another type of uh, another type of doing the animations in CSS that is through animation property. Through transitions you can do the animations and also we have an another way of doing the animations that is in using the animation property. Let's try to see this one in this video. Here if you try to see I am using the same app component or HTML. Let's go to the settings. I will increase the font size. I have decreased the font size for some reasons. Uh, I will decrease. Yeah, I have increased it. Now here I am using the HR. Okay. And here I am having one div. So this is our another div which we will do the animations. Let's try to keep this one as an ID of div1. Okay. And I will give an ID of div2. Let's have a small simple thing. And let's go to the app component.css. So here I am giving hash div1. This is for first one, right? That's what it is. And here I am having another one of div2. Now for this one, what I will do is I will apply a width of 100 pixel and I will apply a height of 75 pixel or anything. And I will have a background color of red or anything blue. Okay, let's say blue. For the top one, we are having red, right? Now if you see the output, we are able to get it. Now we will apply a margin also as 40 pixel. So that both will be in the straight line vertically. Now here we are able to see one is the <coughs> transition and another one at the bottom is the blue thing. Now if you want to have a granular type of animation, so that means you want to have a full command over the animations and all those things, then we will be using the animation property. For this one, we need to provide the keyframes. So what is this keyframes? Let's try to see. So first you need to write at the rate keyframes. So this is the keyword you need to use it and we need to give the name my move. Let's say, okay. And here you will be having something like from 0%. So starting at the 0%, let's say that we are having an opacity of one. So the initial state of this object or otherwise the div element, the initial state is opacity one. And you can have a transform property, which, uh, which indicates the position and all those things. So here you can have a translate X. I am taking the X and it is in the zero pixel. So that means it is wherever it is there, there only. And I am using a scale scale of one means the, uh, the size of that one scale means it will be scaling and like that will be. So this is the, these are the two properties at the initial state you will be having. <clears throat> if you go to 50%, okay, that means half of the animation when the animation is doing, if you reach the animation half means then you can apply something like an uh, let's say uh, 0.75 okay the opacity is 0.75 and here I want to increase something like 50 pixel let's say zoom and here I will have a uh, like 0.75 let's say zoom okay so I am decreasing the size of that one and we'll have an another thing that is nothing but 75 percent if we reach the 75 percent or uh, we can take it let's try to see the animation I want to show you the actual thing. So opacity will be something like 0 0.5. So we have decreased the opacity and we'll have in like this, the transform translate X of 100 pixel. I am increase, I am moving the uh, development to 50 pixel, 50 pixel to the X, X axis. And I am decreasing the thing to the percentage. And at the final, it is the hundred percent. So I will totally, I will not make it disappear. So I will make this opacity as 0.25. Okay. So at least we need to make it visible, right? Transform, we will be having it 150 pixels, 0.25. So gradually I will try to decrease it. So this is the keyframes we are trying to use it. What I have did it 0% initial opacity one, and this is the initial state at the final stage. It should be 0.25 of the opacity and the transform should be like this. So this is the thing I am trying to apply it now. If you see, if you hear, if you apply, apply this, uh, refresh this page, you are not able to see any animation, but here these are able to, we are able to see the animation for this one. We are not able to see the animation. How we can able to achieve this one is, so we need to apply the keyword that is animation. Okay. And we need to give the name of the animation. That is nothing but my move. And within five seconds, it needs to be applied. And here you can give the infinite, but infinite we, okay. Let's try to give the infinite. Okay, infinite. Infinite means if you try to see here, the animation will go on repeated. Okay, this will go on repeated like this. And if you try to see, it will be going on repeating it. Well, let's make it as a two one second. 
if you try to see here the animation will be happening see it, it will be happening like this infinitely it will be happening i don't want to apply i want to apply only once and it should be in the final stage like that only then if i want to make it for example if i remove the infinite then what will happen see the animation will apply and it will go back to the original position again i don't want to go, go back to the original position if the animation is completed at the final stage of animation what it is there it should be in that stage only then for that one what we need to do is we need to apply the forwards now if you apply the forwards if you see here the animation is applied it remained it stayed there only so this is the situation what i want to get it so this is how we will be using the animations concept in order to apply the animation so if you want to have a granular fine granular uh, uh, command over the animation means we can use this one so not only the 0% 50% you can also apply the 10% 11% like that whatever the percentage you want to ha have it you can have it that's not a problem and the another one which i want to tell you is the uh, thing so okay fine so we have applied the animations thing for example let's say that upon clicking on this uh, box only the animations has to happen means then what i can do here let's go to the app component and here i can use a click click is equal to oh sorry click is equal to on move click or otherwise what i say is uh, move clicked oh click is equal to true so i will do i will use this one so move click this one we need to mention here in our in our uh, ts file so right now i'll make it as a false so i made it as a true and here in our app component.html now i need to apply an ng class ng class ng class is equal to i need to apply uh, what i can say is move class when move click is true that's it now let's take this move thing what happened for this one why it is coming okay i have closed it yeah so now i need to apply this move class right for this move class if you go into the css and here we have applied this one right let's take the move uh, oh. let's take the move here and i will remove this one animation and i will apply it directly here that's it and now if you try to see the output if you click here this transition is applying if i click on this one now the animation applies so like this you can have a control over this animation thing so now the css the animations we can do it with the two methodologies that is one is the transition this is a simple thing which you want to do the transition or otherwise if you want to have a more command over the animation means then you can use the keyframes concept and you can use the animation thing so this is the thing now i will try to what i will try to do is i will commit this all the code in the video iphone 21 and i will commit this code the css animations okay and i will commit this all the code let's commit this all the code i will publish this branch whoever may be having a doubts and all those things regarding this transition and animations so i have covered it very little bit fast right just to have an overview of this one before proceeding to the angular animation i have given you if you have any doubts or anything in the particular video you can go to this particular video branch and you can check the code the rep github repository link will be provided in the description below of the every video that, that's it guys about the css animation hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you